Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Bruni uh, from Grit Leadership for Educational Athletics. And we have high school sports in America for you, the student athlete. Uh, they're not about the coaches or the ADs or even the parents. Um, as ADs, we love to watch you play, but we also know that the best we can do besides encouraging you uh, and caring for you uh, and setting up your season for you is to help improve and grow the coaches so that they can lead more effectively and help your experience be even better than it was this year. So we want to pour into your experience, but we need your help. So here's a couple ways that you can help us starting with today in just a few minutes. Number one, as you get these evaluation surveys for your coach, please be mature. Remember, students don't hire and fire coaches, uh, and that's not really your role. But your opinion is very important to us because we do high school athletics for you. Um, we are asking for your help to encourage the coach and to help the coach improve in ways uh, that are positive and helpful. Um, just as you don't uh, want to be judged by your worst moments uh, by the coach, you certainly don't want to be judged. You don't want to judge your coach by their one worst moment. So please take the take a take a big view, uh, a thirty thousand foot view, if you will, a whole view of the season. Uh, be honest. Think about the entire situation as you give answers to each individual question from your perspective about your coach and how they perform in each of those areas. Be mature. Um, take a big view and make sure that you help us see things balanced in a way, because we're asking you, the student, to be mature and help us learn and grow in your, uh, uh, in your team's environment. Number two, this is a totally confidential uh, survey situation. Only the athletic director will see each survey, uh, and so it's important uh, that, that you put your name on it for, number one, for accountability. Uh, it's important that you're accountable to your answers. This isn't an anonymous thing. Uh, you have the experience. We're asking you to be mature. And so uh, we put your name on there to make sure that we're doing a good job with that and making answers valid and reliable. So again, for accountability, but two, for outliers. If everybody on your team answers a certain way, but there's one answer that's kind of way out there, the opposite, that means you had a different experience in a certain way. And the AD wants to check into that on your behalf um, because outliers and research are important to pay attention to and we care about everyone's experience. So that's the reason you put your name on. Uh, second, in the written section, um, we want to talk about how when you write, we will never copy and paste any of your answers. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just read the themes of what's said and put those for the coach to see. Because we don't want the coach to worry about who said what. What we want the coach to worry about is how to improve and how to grow and how to keep hitting the mark with things they're supposed to be hitting the mark, not who said it or why they said it. So we only put themes in for the coach to learn from. And in the scaled questions, the questions with the bubbles, um, those ones, they'll only see the team average. The athletic director will see your individual scores, so doing all the same number of something doesn't help us. We wanted you to take the time to do a good job to give us valid and reliable answers to each question so that we actually have the opportunity to improve your program. So when it comes to those bubbles, start right in the middle. Uh, in class, 50% is a failure, but when it comes to survey taking, starting right in the middle is the best place to start because that means normal, average, regular. And then you can move it one way or the other on each question based on how your coach does in that sort of situation. But those valid answers, those ones that you care about and do a good job putting your coach in the right spot, those are the ones that help us grow. And remember, as you answer these questions, emotions and feelings are real, especially for um, high school students. Uh, but remember that the coach's job is to push you, to challenge you, because nobody grows without struggle. We don't grow in the weight room without being challenged. Uh, otherwise, we're just going through the motion. So your coach's job is to find that desirable amount of difficulty to help you grow, to help you change. And sometimes that can feel unpleasant. That doesn't mean they're doing anything wrong. Uh, certainly, there are times where coaches do something wrong. Um, but, but certainly, we want you to know that just because a coach pushes you or challenges you or has a high expectation for you, that does not mean that they are um, doing a bad job in any way. So remember that. Their job is to push and to grow. Your athletic director will send you an email with the link in it. Uh, for you to complete this survey. Uh, thank you for being mature, for helping us improve your program, and tell us about your experience so that we can all grow and change together. Um, thanks for being a positive part of growing our athletic program. Have a great day.